Hey everyone, my name is Draconix and welcome back to Chivalry Medieval Warfare. Now this is another clan special, but nah, uh, this is going to be a little bit different. This is the SM clan, which I fought with in the previous clan battle, but this is versing the regulars that play on the SM server. So, I've been looking forward to this for quite a while, and we can see them all getting warmed up, punching dead bodies and what looks like a cremation. Now, not gonna lie, that seems a bit sick, <laughs> but I'll let it slide, and we will return once it gets underway, so enjoy. Hey everyone, welcome back. We're about to get underway. We're gonna start off with some LTS, which if you don't know what that is, it's last team standing. And I think whoever wins this chooses the map and what side they play on. Now, I'm in free cam mode because it's just so much easier to maneuver around, and we're about to see these two great people clash. Hacked Penguin going in first. They just seem to be standing there. They're greeting each other. I think... What's going on? Oh, that's right. I think it's a one-on-one. -on -one. I can't tell what's going on. Here goes the countdown. Now they fight. This decides everything. Okay, Darwin first to fall, followed by Orange. SM seem to have the lead so far. This archer got cut down, I believe that was defective. Let's get a sky view. Surprise Finn, really badly hurt. And eventually gets taken down by Time Wave, and Time Wave is doing really well. Who is this? SM Cade, I've never heard of him before, but he's here. Ooh, tries to take someone down, but fails. Teammate catches it though. Black Leader, struggling for his life. He's against so many of them now, and eventually falls to SM Sun. Wow. Well, that happened. <laughs> An example calling the admins tryhards. Okay, I think they're going to line up again. Okay, they're just facing off at the minute. They're basically exchanging words. They're calling each other's mothers uh, god awful things. The countdown begins. We're just three seconds left of the charge and the smoke is in the way. I've got to get up in high and there's a sky nipple up there, but no time to cover that now. Okay, Darwin once again first to fall, followed by so Godfrey the Unwise. Once again, the SM team is completely dominating in this LTS. Nemtos, really badly hurt, just trying to stay alive, getting the regen. Viking falls, Mackledolf, Joris, TK in, whoa! And then Nemtos getting hit by Eternal. I believe Joris just almost TK'd again. The odds are against the regulars. But, they managed to bring something back. It's now a three on three. Okay, now it... Oh, it's a one on three! No, there is more up there. And Joris managing to kill another admin. I believe... How many is it now? It is a three on two, I believe, at the moment. Monkey Fiend getting really badly hurt by that brandy stock. He can't take no more of that. Oh, and he gets sniped. SM Asda from nowhere. And SM's winning. Well done, SM Asda. What a shot. <laughs> what a shot indeed. Okay, now the game's set up again. Honestly, I had no idea that Asda was an archer and hiding somewhere. I really didn't. 
Okay, these teams are getting ready to square off again. Exchanging very unpleasant words. The countdown begins. And here we go. Okay, that Vance. I believe Sir Pastic had his crossbow readied for when that countdown reached zero. SM fall into fire, followed by SM Sun to Velasquez. A nice double kill by Blunt right there. These teams fairly even so far. Asda with the crossbow getting kills again. Agent knocking out another uh, admin. Agent again killing another admin. Eternal really badly hurt. Couldn't hold them all off. Let's get a sky view. Okay, Marsh is in real trouble. He's low on health. He hasn't got time to get a regen. And he gets fainted and t taken out by the brandy stock. And the holder was Joris. Drekode, he's against impossible odds. He's got no chance. And he gets fisted. Wow. To add insult to injury. Wow. Both teams advancing forward. To the meeting point. Where they will once again stop and exchange very harsh words. <laughs> Somebody just threw a smoke. What's going on? That archer throwing javelins has no idea what he's doing. Let me guess, that's Farmer. Oh, it's not. Sorry if that last uh, action wasn't caught. I was too busy looking at the uh, the kill feed. <laughs> well, I will get old member to look more around the battle. And it begins. Immediately projectiles being thrown and two admins instantly being taken out. Strekode with his fly ult trying to take down that, that archer. Attacks going left and right. Example being taken out by Marsh. Strekode eventually falling, his fly ult could not flail enough. Let's go and have a look over here. Franer. Oh god, Lich. Lich is surrounded, he can't, yep, he couldn't last much longer. He was absolutely surrounded, but from every corner, from every angle, he had no chance there. Time wave again, stabbed repeatedly by that archer. He's not very happy with it, but gets saved by blunt knife. Marsh, he's very hurt again. Is he going to go for the regen, or is he going to carry on with this fight? He wants agent. I can see it in his eyes. Sir Pastic targeting. Oh, but being cut down by Time Wave, and Time Wave takes down Agent 2. I think there is only three Agathas left. Three regulars. And four admins. Okay, that's one down. It's now a fight between McEldolf and Marsh. Marsh takes the kill. Leading by example, a deadly vanguard. He could pull this off. He takes down one. But he's low on stamina. You can hear his heavy breathing. He's got to take a regen. He was going to go for the rainbow strike. But he got kicked in the process. No, he's not going to do it. And he falls. Marsh takes him down. He could not spin his way out of that one. What is the score? There's the scoreboard for you. those of you who want to see it. Check it out. And Agatha is 3-1 down. They really got to pull something out.
Yeah, 4ZK has got a point. All this does is makes everyone within throwing distance. Too much smoke, I can't see. Okay, surprise Finn is the first to fall. Monkey Finn goes down. Sun is on the ropes, he's badly hurt, he has to fall back. He's gonna fall back and throw axes to cover himself. Streko very badly hurt, once again he's asked to fall back, but he seems to be going into the fight. If he goes down there he will surely die. There are just too many for him to fight. There we go, as predicted. SM Viking taking on Black Leader, but Black Leader wants none- Oh! He did the old switcheroo, and turned it around, but to no avail. Agatha is almost eliminated, just Sir Jeffrey left, and he is no more. Indeed, stupid fat hobbit, indeed wrecked. Okay, they're about to get it underway again. And they're off. Oh, example first to fall by a TK. That's something you don't want to see. Velasquez. Just running around at the minute. Doesn't know, quite know what to do. Just waiting for the moment to strike. Seems like Agatha are going to fall back and help each other. Oh! This guy has... Oh, surprise, Finn. Had no chance too many on him. Lich falling to Joris's brandy stock. SM Viking going into the fight. Going in from behind. Can he get it? He didn't need to because Time Wave managed to swing it around. That little archer stood no chance. It's all down to Nemtos and I believe he has no chance in this. One hit and he's probably dead. Oh, but <laughs> he took someone with him. So, yeah, you got to give him that. He didn't go without a fight. Once again, all games set up for some reason, throats being smelled, and all that does is makes it hard for me. <laughs> the countdown begins. Are they fighting yet? Is it, was that the countdown? I guess so. It begins very slowly. <laughs> that was a very slow start. Shreko going down to a throwing axe. Time wave attacking from behind. Ooh. Gets an assist. Bastion managing to swing around and catch that guy's arm. Defective Bagel taking shots with the heavy expo, I believe, or just the expo. But gets one shot by Monkey Fiend. That maul will get you. SM going cognito. Gets taken down. I thought he had a chance there. Sir Jeffrey. He's got a lot to cover. Mackledolt. Oh, sorry, example against the ropes. Come on, example, you've got to take a regen. Think of your own life. And gets destroyed by Marsh. Now, Joris, yep, he had no help. 
And the tea bag. Wow. Just, just wow. SM are leading 6 to 1. This is a complete destruction, but for some reason, some regulars are fighting for the SMs. This makes no sense. I'm guessing it's due to, to team. You know, it's a team balance, which is fair enough. Which is fair enough. Okay, the timer begins. Go! Everyone fight! Swings are being swung, but nothing has. Oh, sorry. Stretch out first to fall. Finn low on health, but still runs in. Got cut down by Lich. Agent, I expected him to get some kills, and kills he's getting. Let's have a look over here. Com Agatha's completely dominated this portion of the map. One Agatha all alone. He's Mackledolf. Fall back to your team, man. Again, Velasquez, I believe that was, taking out. Uh, I can't see who that was. There is so much to cover. Guy Incognito couldn't take them all on. Back to Penguin. He's trying to get that player. He really wants it. And gets taken down by Mecha. Mecha! Whoa! Oh dear. Leading by example, my ass. Archers! Take them out! Oh, what's going on over here? This is two great man at arms. Nemtos versus Eternal. Now Eternal's got to be quick if he wants to have any chance of winning. He has to take them one on one. He has to take this guy out now. <laughs> Nemtos wants to... You, oh, he, he suicides! <laughs> he could have had that. If he could have taken out Nemtos, he could have made it... A, a, like, just, if he got them one on one, he could have done it. Instead, he chose the easy way out. Tut tut. Okay, it looks like they're changing map to Dark Forest, so I will be back when they are back. So, stick around.